Good morning, Greenlight the Day family. Welcome back. My name is Jane. Um, and today, for, this is Saturday, August 23rd. Um, I think I want to just do a quick small vlog. Um, and I want to do it on this piece that I saw by the Rebel Society. I've told you before that that's a blog that I really enjoy reading their writing. I mean, it's dark or young women. But I noticed that this morning they posted or reposted a blog that was um, that they had uploaded on September 17th, 2013. And it's called Facing the Darkest Side of a Beautiful Person. And the writer starts out uh, by highlighting a quote by someone named Neil Donald Walsh, uh, who wrote, Beauty comes in many forms, and there is no form more beautiful than you, just exactly as you are this minute, right now, without changing a thing, you are beautiful. Beautiful enough to take God's breath away. You do believe this, don't you? Oh, you must. You must. How can I believe in my beauty if you don't believe in yours? So I really like that piece. And then it goes on to talk about um, Otto Lilienthal, the Glider King, you know, who was a pioneer of aviation, who died of his injuries in 1896 because he was unable to regain control and fell from 50 feet, breaking his neck. And they said on his death that he said, small sacrifices must be made. So his death, his courage was a small sacrifice in the grand scheme of everything. And then she goes on and writes other things about um, <clears throat> embracing our darkness because we have it. Everybody, everybody has light and dark and to deny any part of us, you know, whether it's the light or the dark is to deny ourselves, you know, we all, uh, we're made up of ev a, a lot of things and every one of us, every one of us has it, you know, all of us, every single one of us are light and dark creatures. Uh, but we can't appreciate who we are until we embrace both and we get that we're both of those things. And to take away the labels of good and bad, this is not about good and bad. This is just understanding that we are light and dark. Um, and so she talks a little bit more about that and I will post the links below so that you can go read it. But, and before I read the passage that I really love at the bottom, her conclusion, um, I just want to say that that has, I think that that has been one of the things, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I just woke up, so I sound kind of froggy. Um, one of the things that has been a learning experience for me is learning to embrace both the light and the dark. I think that growing up, everything was about good and bad. And so when bad things happened, I just assumed the responsibility. I took on the responsibility and allowed that to affect the way I thought about myself, how I viewed about myself. It was, I was bad. I was bad. You know, that was the, the self-talk. That was the conversation I was having with myself. And it's been a slow process but at least over the years, I finally got that, you know, I am light and dark. Um, and that that's okay. That doesn't mean that I'm bad. It just means that I'm human. And being light and dark is embracing that humanness. And what's wrong with that? You know, what what is wrong with that? And it's in learning to embrace all of me that I'm, finding I'm finding uh, blessings you know I was talking to a friend last night and I was telling him how I feel like I feel like in my life just like the the book um, the Alchemist, which, you know, obviously it's a book of fiction, 
but I feel like I've been receiving omens, right? That there is a language of omens and that in 2010, it for me, it began. Uh, and I feel like what happened, uh, obviously there's things that slowly, slowly things have been happening since then. But I feel like I was on this path, right, when I was young. And uh, I knew what I wanted. And then some things happened that, you know, got me off of that path. And so then I just went along with that, right, with the distraction and went off and experienced all these, all these things that I was supposed, I was needing to experience in my life. And I feel like the universe has conspired to bring me back to the path because now I'm ready for the path. You know, I'm, I, I had a different view of myself back then and I probably wouldn't have been able to snap out of it, you know, because back then, like I said, my conversation with myself was always that I was bad, that bad things happened to me because I attracted it because the, of the badness in me, because of my darkness. And I realized that's not true. We're all made out of light and dark and none of us are attracting bad things in our life. They just happen. They just happen. You're just, you know, and what we do with it, that's what defines us. And so I feel like the things that happened to me and the roads that they took me on were all to get me ready on the path that I was born knowing that I was supposed to be on. But at the time, I didn't feel good enough to be on that path. I didn't feel deserving. And I realize now that everything that's happened in my life was all to culminate on being back on that path because that was my path. I belonged there. It was always a part of me, but I needed to grow up and grow in and, you know, and grow out uh, to be, ex to expand. And I'm not, I may have been able to do that before, but maybe not. And at least I know now that I have and that what I have to offer uh, it's just more whole and a better quality me, you know, your life, my life, just a small speck, a tiny offering in the grand scheme of everything. Trust that despite your ignorance, despite all of your conditioning and hardships, despite the dark collective shadow that covers significant masses of our existence on this planet, you are meant to be here as you. This experience is not in vain. You do have the ability to release pain, to transform the darkest parts of you into the deepest offering of healing, nourishment, and transformation. For you, for those around you, for all life forms. The healing elixir exists within the poison. Your issues, your trauma, your pain can set you free. Make forgiving yourself the greatest act of courage. Make forgiving those around you, the world, the smallest sacrifice. Tap deeply into life. Invite the possibility of transforming the darkest aspects of you into something that is malleable and something that is allowed to be released. Trust beyond your current understanding that you don't have to be swallowed up by the shadows. Change your interpretation. Own your darkness like your life depends on it, because it does. If you never embrace it, it will never, ever let you be. It will never, ever let any of us be. You deserve better. You are more than you've ever imagined possible. There's nobody quite like you. Step into the magic of who and what you are. You beautiful human being, confront your darkness and connect with the life you are meant to be living and the person you are meant to be. There's more to it, but I love that. You beautiful human being, confront your darkness and connect with the life you are meant to be 
living and the person you are meant to be. I like that. And that's going to green light my day. I hope all of you green light your day, people. We'll see you. Bye. Bye.